Muse is 77. All right. Lucky numbers. Um, so they're starting on Smashville, and you know Muse has been opting to play the, uh, Marth. the Marth considerably it. more. I mean, yeah. you know he has a lot more options in contrast to like his other characters, although he plays them you know to a, such a ridiculous degree. Yeah. Uh, see, the thing he wanted was he wanted to have good frame data and good range. He said he didn't have that with Toon Link, so he picked Marth. Yeah, exactly. And uh, he's also really good at edge guarding. That's just one thing that Muse is extremely good about. Mm -hmm. um, but there's also the Bayonetta thing, which uh, Bayonetta gets so much damage off of just a single uh, hit, and sometimes can lead to death. Yep. But we'll see. Uh, so how this when, pans did, out. when did Bell Pepper switch to Bayonetta? Is he just like being meta right now? I, th I think he's just memeing on uh, the situation overall because okay. he was playing Sheik earlier on in bracket as well. Okay. Oh, nearly got that shield break. So yeah, uh, he just sort of throwing out grounded side B a lot and getting punished pretty hard. Um. Yeah, it looks like Muse knows how to DI out of the up B combos. Yeah, Muse definitely has SDI, and he's got a lot of factors about him. He like has a f you know phenomenal understanding of this game, mm -hmm. um, and situational awareness, of course. Um, I think up B out of shield is something we might see from Muse here shortly because yeah. he can kill. And, yeah, uh, it'll do. Ooh, oh. ooh, is he dead? Is he dead? I think so. Oh no, no, so early, no. That's okay. 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 Yeah, like I said, I feel like up B out of shield could have been. Oh my God, let's go. Or we just trade with up air. That that works too. I think that was forward air that got an awkward what? hitbox because. Uh, wait, 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 wait! He got sent upward from yeah, forward air. Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. I could be wrong though. Um. What I was gonna say is, you know, Muse is really good about using uh, like options like up B out of shield and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. and down tilt too. His spacing is incredible. Um. But yeah, but it could have killed Bayo Be at like. 160, and then uh, Bell Pepper would not have had his chance to uh, actually utilize the witch time on the jabs. Yep. Yeah, it's it's really interesting. It's kind of like you know, music gets a lot of damage, uh, but there's just like that I can win button coming from uh, witch time. Yeah. I know, like, particularly on Bayonetta, a lot of people's throw combos work longer than they should. I, I, I think it's because she has, like, high gravity or something. I'm not, I'm not sure, though. It's kind of, it's like, like, she's, yeah, she has a higher gravity, because, like, she can fall pretty quickly, right? Yeah, yeah, she doesn't feel like she falls, like, fox fast, but yet, yet she yeah. just seems to get comboed in the air really, really easily. Um, but she's also kind of floaty in that sense, too. Yeah. Her weight allows her to be kind of a floaty and then also has that uh, fast falling, fa or, like, the gravity factor. And that's yeah. death. Dead? No. No, okay, he escapes the up there. Oh my god! Okay, just gets it back there and uh Yeah, RCO lag coming in uh coming in play there because Bell Pepper just did so many uh yeah. aerial special moves. Yeah, Bandana suffers hard from that RCO lag. Yeah. <laughs> it's very noticeable. Now, I think he could have also utilized uh like A landing or something like that, or mm -hmm. you know, doing an aerial to land that changes like RCO lag will carry over the next time he lands as opposed to that time. Yeah. So sometimes you want to just do it and then do like an MP hop into something. Yeah. I don't know that if it works for Bayonetta specials though. Like I think they specifically programmed it in there to always be laggy no matter what. No matter what. Okay. Yeah, I, it's one or the other. You might you might be right. I don't know. You're probably right. I believe you. Chat knows. Confirm for us. But yeah, back to Smash Player. Yeah, I believe the only way to cancel out uh, the RCO lag is to use a uh, counter, but counter's laggy anyway, so... <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of closer to, like, even percents at the beginning of the set, or this game in particular. Yeah, but then we saw last set, Mark died at, like, 60, so... We nearly had that tipper forward smash, but uh, Bell Pepper just barely getting out of range. <laughs> Ooh. Looks yeah, like he's trying to do a jab cancel, but he just keeps on getting the second jab instead. Yeah, jab to F tilt is uh, something that Marth, Marth players do a lot, jab to forward smash as well. They're trying to get that uh, dash attack in. Now, I see it like it Muse is going in a bit like further mm -hmm. to try to extend these, and uh, he's getting punished for it. Now he's kind of spacing. Dude, good scene. Take it easy. Oh, catches that edge guard. Gets nice. that forward air. 
it's really important to take that first stock as well. Yep. Um, especially yeah. against Bayo. Because yep. like when you get to those higher percents, like the rage doesn't come in uh come into play, so you don't have to worry as much about like say the up airs towards the higher end of the stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most most characters can't challenge Bandana's recovery. He's got a lot of disjoint on it. However, sword characters can, because they have more disjoint than the uh, side being uppy. Absolutely. Ooh. Ooh, almost got some sort of read, but doesn't quite. And Ooh, stage spike, he's he's dead. It's so funny just seeing uh, seeing Muse do. Um... Is this out of five? Yeah. Okay. Now it's like how often we see um, Muse play. I was thinking the game was actually too high. Last time I saw it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Muse is really good about getting those stage spikes um, with Mark. Mm -hmm. It's. Like he positions himself optimally, he times it proper. Yeah, um, when you when you see Mars drop below, you gotta be ready to press the the shield button because you're about to get safe spike. Absolutely, it's really hard to react. I think it's like somewhere around frame between frame four and six, or four and eight. It's I think it's like frame six, frame five, think. frame five. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's invincible one through five, and it comes out frame five, I think. And it travels a fairly good distance as well. Don't 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 kill me if I'm wrong, chat. Yeah, this is um, it's yeah. kind of interesting. Um, so I was gonna say, Muse and I have been practicing uh, both Sheik and um, Marth, uh, just you know, so we had more knowledge on both the characters. Yeah. Chat, chat saying that uh, we shouldn't go to Marthville. I mean, <laughs> this is a really good stage for Marth. Yeah. Um, just because the boss zones are so much smaller, and when he gets yeah, those tippers, like, yeah, tipper kills way too early here. Like, I could have seen Battlefield could have been a really good stage. Ooh, uh, if you shield even more, that would have been, that would have broke. Oh. Not sure exactly what Sheik can do to edge guard Marth. Maybe, like, drop off back here? I'm not, uh, I'm not sure. It's, and Nair lasts, and it's a very good lingering hitbox. Uh, Nair can uh, trade with. You can trade with it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I um, thought maybe it would just, like, lose to Puppy. Mm -mm. That's something I learned uh, on Monday. Okay. Something I was using against. Uh, oh wow! Got him with the fair. Nice. Yeah, the Sheik's uh, no longer have the down throw 50/50. So now they sort of go for a down throw and then go for a guaranteed fair. And if you di it wrong, you could die. Yeah, absolutely. Oh wow! Let's jump back air. Yeah, see, like, there's probably about seven people in our state that actually actively uh, go for ledge trumps. And I'd say three of those players like get them off uh, often. Yeah, I'm one of those players. You're, you're one of the seven. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed it in our set. I was just like, yep. Yeah, I actually messed up a ledge trump on you, and you, you rolled on. I was yeah. like, oh, I just up smashed. Yeah, you sure did. I, that's I thought you were actually gonna go for it. So I looked at like I, 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 I did, but I messed <laughs> up. <laughs> so I had the right call, but uh, so funny. But yeah, no, it's. It's just something that's underutilized uh, at the regional level right now, mm -hmm. um, but I think it's something that everyone can develop and add on to their. Yeah, uh, it's like it's not hit. anything guaranteed. It just as in an option that forces your opponent to choose something. Exactly. Which is, which is always what you want to do. You want to force your opponent to choose an option, and if you don't go for ledge trumps, they don't have to choose an option for like 50 frames after they grab their ledge. Yeah. So, listen, kids, start using ledge trumps. And you saw Muse actually kind of off for that uh, bait on the ledge trump there as well. Mm -hmm. So right now, oh, up air's gonna kill. Gonna there we go. It. Now it's two one. Looks like the uh, Sheik switch was the right choice. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, something Muse and I were talking about is just like that matchup, the Sheik Mart. It's very 50-50. Yeah. Um, because like when Sheik gets in, she can get so much more off of like each hit, and Mart yeah. has trouble when people are in. It's kind of like you know a Roy Mart matchup. Yeah, it's like, like the only, gets the in, only thing like, you can really do to say get off me is like risk up using e, an up e, and but then, then you can like get if, a if, chase. yeah, yeah, and if you um if you predict the up e, then you get a harder punish. Yeah, exactly, and then more combos. So. Yeah. Um, but a stage like Dreamland, um, Mark can actually up e to the platform, which can be a good uh, escape option because there's relatively low lag. But this is also uh, a fairly good pick because of the low ceiling and then the platforms give him another uh, option to retreat from uh, the potential of needles, which uh, we've been seeing a severe lack from uh, Bell Pepper. Uh, funny thing I just noticed, um, if you uh, STI uh, Mars side B at low percent downward, you can actually shield the last hit almost every time. Yeah, yeah, you STI either down with your uh, heavier weight 
Um, or you can SDI in as well uh, and get in where uh, Martha is. Yeah. Uh, especially as Sheik too, it's very interesting. And then you can get a guaranteed punish at lower percents. But uh, at higher percents it's still guaranteed. But. Nice spacing. Oh my god. Like, look at that, just tip her down tilt over and over. I mean, it forces him to come back to stage. Too bad he was under uh, lag from the previous. Um, but right now we got a really good edge guard. I think he caught the jump. Oh my god. Looking like melee. Let's go. Kin combo. Come on. We got the, a bunch of upgrades, but he couldn't get too much out of it. And. Well, that's like it. Like, it looked like Bell Pepper had the read, but uh, Muse also knew which uh, option to react to. Ooh, okay. Well, Mark did right there. He did up, he had a shield and didn't land on the platform. You can actually land on the platform on... Um, yeah, by holding in. By um, holding by holding back after you used the up B. And he didn't do that, so he didn't land on the platform. On Battlefield, you'll still land, but on Dreamland, you have to hold back. And also gives it for a good uh, situation because, like, you're not going to be you're going to be in free fall, so you can kind of adjust where your opponent's going, mm -hmm. and they might actually go up to the platform to try to guard you as well. Yeah, or cover the punish. Ooh, got the pivot forward smash, but a good perfect shield coming in there. But I was going to say, if Bell Pepper can't clean this up, then uh, he's going to be looking at loser side here in just a second. Yeah, Bell right, needs, Bell no, needs to get a kill it. right. Oh, that was a four smash. Okay, that works too. Yeah, that's confirmed through a large uh, got, yeah. range of percentage. Yeah, I've got the tipper down tilt up there. Oh, forwards. All right, forward angled, dancing blade. This is still a really tough situation there. Okay, for, uh, rolls on to avoid the trump. I'll put up B again on uh, on deck here as an edge guard option. Or sorry, not as an edge guard, but as a uh, killing option here shortly. Yeah, and these higher percents are going to force an earlier option. For, oh, that's it. Yep, let's come back there. Good job. Good play there by uh, Muse overall. Taking that first stock super early as well. <laughs> nice. 